Why, hello there, everybody. Mike here, and welcome to another episode of Spiral Up. Now, sometimes I wonder what the hell I am actually doing. I revel in willful suffering and generally find myself engaging in some sort of activity that really tests and pushes who I am and what my body and mind are truly capable of. Now, I've climbed Mount Adams here in Washington State five times, summited four times, failed once, participated in gymnastics ring training, some body weight training, and most recently in the past year, have gotten into Spartan obstacle course racing. Now, my wife saw how amazing these events were last year when both me and and my children all achieved our Spartan trifectas. Now, she actually got to even run her very own race last year during the optimized graduation ceremony. Well, this year, my wife had a fantastic goal of obtaining her very own Spartan trifecta. Now, a trifecta, if you don't know, is when you complete all three levels of Spartan races within one year. Sounds doable, right? Three races? Yeah, well, you, you could probably do that. Now, you've got a three-mile race. That's a sprint. You got a six-plus mile race. That's a super. And then you got a 13-mile race, and that's the beast. Now, these races are typically separated by four months or so, at least around here. So you have plenty of time to train, recover, and prepare. Now, that was until COVID hit. <laughs> because of COVID, races were consolidated, canceled, our nice four-month window gone, preparation window flushed down the toilet. Now our races and our pain have been crammed into one trifecta weekend. Now I personally viewed it as an opportunity. I saw it as, hey, Let's see what I am a body are truly capable of. Sure, man. Bring it on. Let's do this. And my wife, eh, she's a bit of a different individual. This is a major concern for her. She had never ran more than six miles at one time, ever, let alone 13. And so there we were, locked in debate. Go, no go, postpone, shift. Drive to Montana so he maintained that four-month window? What do we do? <laughs> well, Spartan came to our rescue with their unbreakable virtual race series. Basically, you would run the distance of a typical Spartan race, do some burpees, do some push-ups, do some pull-ups, and do the other obstacles that they identified, all the while participating in hopefully the world's largest virtual race. Now she decided to go for the trifecta. <laughs> we would do the beast on Saturday, the super and the sprint on Sunday. Now that meant third, 13 miles was gonna be done on Saturday with 30 obstacles. Sunday was gonna be nine plus miles with 55 obstacles. Now I'm super proud, and I couldn't wait to see what she was truly capable of. But, you know what? Spartan themselves have a tagline. You'll know at the finish. And when she finished, well, I don't know quite how she felt, but I'm pretty sure she felt that she was capable. Capable of so much more, which leads me to ask you, what are you made of? Think you could do more? Now, this whole thing reminds me of a quote from Mr. Tony Robbins that goes like this. Ten years from now, we're going to look back at this challenge and laugh. So why wait? And I want you to think about that. More importantly, I want you to do something about that. But whatever you do, I want you to feel better today. Well, getting better for tomorrow. We're going to see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.